ABC Big 2 Local Weather Authority Forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got much quieter and much calmer conditions outside right now, thanks to those winds finally dying down. But if you look really closely, you can see our sky tracker still bouncing around a little bit, indicating our winds remaining in place, at least for now. Also, a lot of dust out in the distance. You can kind of see a little bit of a haze, a, a halo around some of those lights off in the distance, indicating that the dust is still with us as well. But thanks to our sky tracker network in Midland, really good look at those calming conditions. And switching over here to our satellite and radar, we can see that there is a little bit of cloud cover here in the southeastern basin, but it's tracking in from northwest down to the south and east, thanks to this low pressure system still hanging on. Now, this one is actually bringing a lot of cold air and strong weather to some of the southeastern states. You can see that a uh, good line of thunderstorms moving from Mississippi into Alabama. But in addition to that, this low pressure system is wrapping around a lot of cold air, good enough to give us a little snow in Wichita, Kansas, this time of year, pretty unheard of. But if you follow that flow pattern of the winds, it is pushing a lot of that colder air our way here in West Texas. And that's why our low temperatures tomorrow are going to be dropping down into the 30s. Now, it will be a much calmer day to start off with, but it will also be much colder to begin with. So make sure to bundle up as you head out the door tomorrow morning. It is going to be shockingly cold because we haven't dropped down into the 30s in a long time. This is a good last minute reminder that we are still technically into the winter season for the next couple of days. Now, wind speed will be hanging around 5 to 10 miles per hour, but gusting up to about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So that's going to be good enough to give us a little wind chill tomorrow morning. Now, as we do get there, notice winds are in the single digits, but we'll still be a little bit gusty thanks to that northerly wind still steered by our low pressure system that we watched. As we head into Friday morning, though, notice these winds begin to track in out of the east and pick up into the double digits. A little bit breezy, but nothing West Texas can't handle. Either way, tomorrow morning going to be a lot colder than what we saw to begin the day today. 45 degrees was our low. Our high sit at 62 degrees, and we do have more changes coming, so get Get out your phones, pull up that QR scanner because we actually have a good way now to download our weather app. Just go ahead and point your phone right here at the screen. Download our weather app because it's got some very great features for all these changes that we've got going on here in West Texas in the spring season. Strong winds, we've got rain chances popping up in the forecast, and here's a good way to keep track of all that. An hourly forecast, live local radar, and we've also got that look at the almanac as well to keep you informed at at home. So make sure you get our app. If you missed it, go ahead and check out the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store to get yourself a copy of it. Either way, a lot of changes coming through and some of those starting as early as tomorrow with our temperatures. Currently we're at 50 degrees for Odessa Midland. As we get to tomorrow morning though, Odessa Midland dropping down to 35. That's actually pretty close to freezing. 32 is the temperature that water freezes over at. And notice across the northern basin we actually do drop a little bit below that. So make sure to bundle up as you head out the door tomorrow morning. Pull in any plants that you normally keep outside just to be on the safe side. But thankfully, once we get to the afternoon, high temperatures pick up into the 60s for tomorrow and for Friday. 67, the high temperature tomorrow, even if that model was running a little cool. Friday, we pick up to 65 and then we land in the 70s for the weekend, picking up a couple of rain chances Monday and Wednesday of next week. Now, we do have a chance for thunderstorms on Monday, 